What's up, little bitches? It's your boy Boz and. August Pero. And uh, we've got an interview for Kick Meat Scooter Shop. Let's I go. How did you get to Russia? Was it hard to get visa? Yeah. For me, it takes like thir over 30 hours, like a two hour drive from my house to the airport. Then I had like three flights. It took like over 35 hours, but uh, it was good. I had to get a visa, all that stuff. You know how it works. If you haven't traveled, you probably don't know how it works. So, you get a visa, and you gotta get an invitation from Russia to get your visa, all this stuff. You have to have accommodation, heaps of stuff going on. But we're here, we made it. Let's go. For me, it was pretty fast. Like in just like two or three days, I get the visa. And after it's only far by flight to come to Moscow, so it was pretty, pretty chill to come to Moscow. Yeah, piece of cake for a French guy. But why didn't uh, other guys from France come? Because JD was hurt in the leg. Really, like, if you come, he's not gonna ride, so it's stupid to come. And uh, Maxim didn't want to travel so much now, so I prefer to just to chill in Paris. And we're the best too, I think, when you say it's all you need. You might should. <laughs> It's just like all the letter, letters, it's so different, so we don't understand nothing. And all the people don't speak English, so it's like a little bit hard. That's good. Yeah, same with I can't read anything. And then people look at me stupid. Like, how hard is it to be like, how much is this? How much? And they're like, who? Huh? <laughs> dish that you try here. Pancakes, baby. They love pancakes out here. I love pancakes at home, but they don't have them like they got them here. Trust. It's fire. Yeah, I understand. The pancake was pretty good. Your favorite pancake before? Um, I don't know about the name. <laughs> um, what are the... Oh, the condensed milk? Do they got condensed milk in the pancakes out here? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid of going on an uncontrollable rampage at any moment. It's the only way. 
tell us about your uh, worst experience in Russia. Well, the second I get here, I ride the street course, you know and I just do a flare out of every trick, and he's just tricking the book, and I crash so hard on my shoulder, and it's been hurt the whole time. Everywhere we go, I'm like, damn, I want to ride, but I can't ride because I hurt my shoulder. First day I got here, so I'm bummed about that, but I don't know. you got to be happy. Yeah, at least it's not broken. Yeah. <laughs> What's your impression of scooter scene in Russia? It's fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, these kids here. We've been to a few places in uh, Russia now, like Moscow, and where are we now? Yekaterinburg. And uh, the kids, they're definitely like different kind of riding, but here today, these guys are so hard, there's a bigger crowd, sometimes a crowd has a lot to do with it, but kids today were throwing down hard, yeah. like kids doing whip lips on like rails and stuff, and like nobody even knows who these kids are, and they so much there's so many kids here which is crazy like when i find out i'm going to russia i'm like why am i going to russia and someone's like there's heaps of kids i'm like there's kids in russia that ride scooters but everywhere you look in the street there's kids everywhere a group of kids on scooters and it's so yeah. sick it's dope. moscow or yekaterinburg <laughs> which one did you like more which uh, one did you like more in like scooter related stuff which one? I architecture? Think, I think I prefer Moscow for the city and I prefer Ekaterinburg for the rider. Yeah, the riders yeah. here were cool. Yeah. The kids, I got along with the kids heaps here. Me and the kids, it was more like, not like me and then the fans, it was like me and then some homies were always yelling and being funny. But then, I think just in Moscow it's hard, just the language barrier. It's hard to like get yeah. along with kids. I think maybe more kids here knew English or maybe I was just more energetic. Maybe it's me. but. Moscow was sick because it's so much easier to get pancakes. Every street is pancakes, <laughs> and here you can't buy pancakes. Just pizza. Pizza me are everywhere. <laughs> French girls or Russian girls? Oh, French girl. <laughs> yeah, French girls or Russian girl. Oh, okay. But the Spanish is the best. The Spanish, Spanish girl. Is... Okay, we'll remember that. Belgian girls. Belgian girls are fire. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Belgium next week, that doesn't matter. My girl's from Belgium. It's okay. What else can you tell us about your experience here? For me, the buildings are crazy. I don't know about you, but the buildings in Australia. The cities are all like very symmetric and all the buildings are like this glass and here they're really old fashioned like all the buildings look millions of years old, I don't know how old they are but they look really like ancient and they look like more, they're like huge, like I'm riding down the street and I'm like damn there's these huge buildings but what's inside you can't even tell and then there's like no advertising but then you just go in a door and there's a huge shopping mall with heaps of stuff yeah. and then in Australia it's like advertising everywhere like if you want this you see it from a mile away but here it's like you're just riding down a street with like all these ancient like amazing looking buildings and then you don't know what's inside and then you go inside and there's heaps of stuff that's yeah, to me that's really society of 
social groups, like Twitter pages and Facebook. That's, that's fine and stuff. You know, we have full contact with our associates, our family, our friends. Uh, it seems like hell's not a little preoccupied with our phone. Other things going on, it's not the actual relationships we have with us. Any final words? I love Russia, but I'm gonna come back. Scrap! <laughs> <laughs> Only good experiences yeah. in Russia, trust me. It's a great place, come here. No. Now.